Well, during the annual Georgia Peanut Commission Peanut Report Day held every year, state and federal ag researchers said they are desperate for project funding right now. Rick Trepto tells us why. This Peanut Research Report Day was at the University of Georgia's Tipton Conference Center. The process reviews old and new research for possible funding by the commission through grower checkoff funds for 2013. The funding strives to make peanut production more profitable. 11 peanut field research positions from plant physiologists to agronomists to economists have been lost to retirements or budget cuts over the past eight years. People drive everything, so having the right scientists in the right place is, is crucial. Those scientists then go after grant dollars, although those are declining on a federal level. But then we've also got to be able to maintain the infrastructure, maintain our laboratories, our field laboratories. Last year, the commission funded 22 projects costing $260,000. Peanut breeding has revolutionized varieties that continue to produce record yields like those of 2012. Bill Branch, over the years, has led a 450 percent increase in peanut yields. Is there a yield limit? I don't believe that. I think we can still make progress. You may not see a great increase, but if you get five, 10 percent uh, every time you release one, you're going to build on that. All the funding presentations were from highly skilled people. The peanut industry says they are proud to have working with them. But I think it gives us an opportunity to, to think about where we want to go next year with our research so that we can be thinking about what our answers will be and, and provide um, information out to the county agents so they can help our growers. Technology is getting more attention. GPS and self-steering tractor equipment was once in the gee whiz category. The challenge to the researcher in technology is projecting forward the prices. For example, 1990 we started some work on GPS systems. At that time, no way. They were affordable, 20,000 bucks for the correction signal, 20,000 bucks for the unit, and now my cell phone has a better system. They were close with the production manufacturers. And remind them of the ag market. And as they're doing the development for other markets, that ag market can be brought along. And to us, the ag market, it needs to be reliable. It needs to be cost effective. It needs to be rugged. The funded research projects tend to be based on soil treatments, economic and production work that puts money in farmers' pockets. But there are some other things that could very well put money in our pockets. We don't really know how a solar panel on a pivot might have an impact. It's definitely something that we could look at. I'm Rick Trepto for the Georgia Farm Monitor.